I should do more sport. I've never been a sporty bloke, you know? Even when I was at school, I was like a twat in PE in cricket. They used to send me out to the edge of the field. Go on, Evans, you shit. I was always a fielder. I'd be miles from any state of play. I'd be on the edge of the field on my own going, Wah! What happened is like, Evans! Yeah? I got it! Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> the javelin? You should see me with the javelin! I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> basketball? I was always more interested in the noise your shoes made on the basketball court, you know? I tried that cage fighting. <laughs> I tell you, them budgies can be fucking vicious, can't they? <laughs> That's the thing when you're on holiday as well. Your wife always says the same thing. Try and enjoy yourself. <laughs> try and enjoy yourself. How do you try and enjoy yourself? What's that? Checking, are you enjoying yourself? Yeah, are you enjoying yourself? Yeah, yes, <laughs> you don't look like you're enjoying yourself. I don't know how that looks. <laughs> I'm looking in the brochure at the bloke in the brochure, I'm in the restaurant, <laughs> out by the fucking pool. <laughs> the thing is, if you start enjoying yourself, your wife is the first one to come up to you and go, ah, All right, fucking calm down, <laughs> twat. <laughs> That's another thing you do on your holidays. You never do that. It's unbelievable. You only do this when you're on holidays. You walk around the shops half naked. You do. No, I'm serious. You'd be walking around like the shopping centres, like, and your wife would be in like a, a, a swimsuit, right, and a sarong, which is Taiwanese for I'd me ass. <laughs> and blokes would be in a pair of speedos and some sandals, fucking strolling around the shops, right? <laughs> Picking stuff up. Look at that, love. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. You wouldn't do that here, though, would you? Walk around Asda's in your fucking underpants. Picking stuff up. Look, love, they've got sausages. They've got sausages. <laughs> That's some people's idea of a bad dream, that is. Walk around the high street half naked. You wake up that night in a cold sweat. Oh, 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 what's the matter, love? Oh, terrible dream. I was naked in the high street. Were you on your holidays? Yeah, that's all right then. <laughs> I don't like shopping with my wife. She's changed. She scares me. My wife is normally a law abiding person. That is until we get in the shopping centre. We'll be standing in the food court holding a couple of trays of our dinner on after just paying for it. And she'll turn to me and she'll go, She hasn't charged us for the teas. <laughs> You are love. She hasn't charged us for the teas. <laughs> well, that's all right. I just uh, don't you fucking dare. <laughs> Never on the run. I'm shitting myself like fucking Bonnie and Clyde. I'm eating me dinner like a fugitive. Are they coming? Are we in trouble? Are we fucked? My wife's all calm and calculated. Easy, easy. <laughs> Shit in me pants, I can't stand this a life on the run, I can't stand it anymore. She's got me by the cheeks. Oi, you drunk the tea, you slag. <laughs> You're in. Okay. I didn't know my wife was such a criminal. Have you ever stayed in a hotel with your wife? Fucking hell, she becomes like a burglar overnight. She turns into one of those bank robbers you see in the films. We'd be leaving the room and suddenly she starts scooping all the toiletries into a fucking handbag. Go, 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 go. <laughs> I'm standing there, what are you doing? We're here for another fucking two weeks. <laughs> what is she gonna do with all these miniature bottles of shit anyway? <laughs> She'd be up the pub the next day. Psst. Do you wanna buy a shower cap? <laughs> do you wanna buy a feminine hygiene bag? Ugh, how many you got? One. <laughs> I do, I love watching sport. I don't get it sometimes, though. You know when you see those pubs and there's that big board outside and it says live and here tonight, England v Croatia, and I think, how the fuck they want to fit in there? 
Because sometimes they have that other board outside and it says fight live, and I think that's going to happen. Fucking in there. <laughs> that's a defo, that is. <laughs> and rugby, that's a good sport, rugby. The game of no responsibility, rugby. Someone throws you the ball, you go, fuck, I don't want it. <laughs> it's no wonder, have you seen the blokes playing it? They're fucking huge. <sighs> Have a look at them, it's like bulldozers in fucking shorts. <laughs> Two bits of discarded bubblegum, his ears. <laughs> ah. It's like Mr. Potato Head with a fucking glandular problem, you know? <laughs> so why is it, why is it, have you noticed it in rugby, all referees are little short fellas? Why is it? You've got these blokes roaming around the field with cauliflower faces, the tops of their head held on with industrial tape. Who's in charge of these lot? Jimmy Cranky. <laughs> and they all listen to him, you know. You walk up to him and go, ah, now listen, you yeah, now. When I blow my whistle, I want you to engage and smash your fucking heads together. <laughs> OK, no problem. As soon as one of them players swings a punch, he's like, off my pitch, I'll have no violence, you. Yeah. Fuck you, man. It's like... Because <laughs> the ref understands what they're saying, you know. You know, he understands it. They'll be like... You'll have to go in the break. I don't care if you have shit your shorts. <laughs> And what is that thing they bring on for the kicker to take his kick to put the ball on? It's like a little cat feeding bowl. <laughs> he must have a fucking nervous cat at home, that bloke. <laughs> you know, every time the cat goes to the ball, he's like, ah, 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 boom. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry! That's okay! And they cheat in rugby. Every time there's a throw in, they lift the fucker up and he catches it. <laughs> That's like one of us going for the eye jump. We get a couple of our mates to chuck us over the bar. One, two, three. Cheers, thank you. <laughs> That's the difference between rugby and football. You know, you get pronounced dead on the field in rugby. They just stand up and they go, it's all right, I'll run it off. <laughs> in football, you only have to tap them on the floor going, oh, jump it off, it's a no good for me now. <laughs> You just spoil my makeup. <laughs> That's what gets me about footballers. They read about an agony on the floor. As soon as they score a goal, they start doing fucking backflips. That's what I don't like about football, that side of it. You know, the unsportsman stuff of it. I don't like unsportsmanship in football. Like, I hate it when a team's in the lead and they get the ball, you know, they take it to the corner and try and keep it there to waste time. You never see that in other sports, like the darts, you know? Some bloke playing darts goes up to the board. No, 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 no. <laughs> You know, you never see that in the swimming. Some blokes in the lead, fuck it, I'll go in the corner, do a bit of paddling, waste a bit of time. <laughs> and that, I don't get in football. You know, what is that? You've seen the subs warming up on the touchline? What the fuck's that one? <laughs> when do they ever use that on the field? I hope he never uses it. You know, there's a penalty shootout. Yeah! <sighs> no. <laughs> And they have pointless tricks that they do, footballers. You know what, have you ever seen that one? What the fuck? I don't know what the point of this is. They kick it up and they catch it on the back of their neck. What's the point in that? Good news, lads, we signed Quasimodo from Notre Dame. <laughs> I feel sorry for sports where they can't show off and do tricks like that. For instance, you can't do that trick in the javelin, you know? It's like... Oh, oh. <laughs> fucking see, now I thought that might look good. 